Hi, I'm TJ Leach for BuyRotan.com. Rotan, contrary to what you might think by looking at the white sand beaches, is a volcanic island formed by a volcano thousands, millions, well, a lot of years ago. I guess the closest uh, comparison that I could make would be the Hawaiian Islands, also formed by volcanoes. And because the volcanic ash and soil is very, very rich in nutrients, pretty much anything grows anywhere. The soil here on Roatan is a variety of uh, different uh, elements. We have red clay, we have uh, dark black soil, and uh, we have white sand as well. Now you can see behind me how the lava has actually risen right out of the sea, above the sea, and uh, forms the coastline of Roatan. And throughout the island you can see these outcroppings of lava that come up out of the sea and or are on the shoreline. Now there's a number of theories on how this lava came to be or how the island was formed. One theory that I tend to believe is that there was a volcano on the mainland 30 miles away and there was an underground uh, chute, uh, lava tube, that shot up and, and, a, and a crack in the uh, ocean's uh, bottom actually um, uh, separated and the lava came out and this island was formed. That makes sense if you look at the island's topography, one side's deeper than the other and the other side is very, very flat and shallow where the, the, the uh, earth's crust uh, opened up and the lava came out. Now as the hot lava came up uh, through the water and hit the cold water, it kind of burst or uh, exploded and that's why you get all these sharp, jagged edges with a lot of little uh, bubbles and pockets in it. The locals call this lava iron shore because really it's tougher than iron. You can hit it with a hammer, uh, you can try a jackhammer, you can try whatever. You just can't break this stuff. It's very, very sharp as well. My son Grady actually fell on it and split his chin open and we had to get a number of stitches. You can see all the lush vegetation that grows on top of the lava. And speaking from experience, if you have a uh, lot that has some of this lava on it and you're building a house, the best foundation you can get is anchoring that house onto the lava or the iron shore. The Rotan Island, like the Hawaiian Islands, are in sharp contrast to some of the what we call sandbar islands that are formed just by basically a kind of a hump in the, in the ocean uh, of just sand. Islands like that, sandbar islands, would include the Cayman Islands, Bermuda, and the Bahamas. But if you're like me, I prefer the volcanic island over the sandbar islands any day. So there really hasn't been any volcanic activity here for quite some time and we're hoping that uh, there won't be any for some time to come. I'm TJ Lynch for BuyRotan.com.